Hey, what's going on everybody? Good morning to you. Um, and if you're watching this video, it could be morning or evening. So, uh, but just wanted to bring you in on some, you know, conversations that, you know, sometimes a fruitarian, and I'm not just trying to be a separatist calling myself a fruitarian, but you know, somebody who's just had a, a change of life. I wanted to bring you in on some conversations that we have uh, sometimes uh, with ourselves. So, especially like for me, you know, I, I woke up this morning and I was just a little bit discouraged. Uh, just my own thoughts that I have uh, taking place, you know, looking at where I'm at. Uh, my job that I work at right now, good paying, I mean, great paying job. But where I am right now, you know, when you have a lifestyle change like I've just had, uh, you begin to think about things a little bit different than you did before you started. Um, sorry about the bumping and stuff, but like my goals are a whole lot different than what my goals were originally. And the things that I'm thinking like right now, I didn't even think about them several uh, months ago. So a little bit discouraged because I'm thinking about the fruit uh, that I'm limited to where I live right now. And, you know, uh, sometimes I have cravings that are like really bad, you know, like I can smell something, I can smell a food and almost like taste it in my mouth because I've eaten it all of my life. So when I'm out here on the road and I'm driving and I'm sitting like I'm doing, you know, your mind goes through a plethora of things. And when you see the billboards pass by, you see the restaurants that you're passing and you sit and say to yourself, man, I'm hungry. And, you know, am I going to be able to keep this up the rest of my life? You know, it, so you're, you're, you're trying to keep yourself in a right position to where you can continue doing what you're doing. So I was just sitting here thinking, I'm like, OK, so what is what is my goal? What is my plan? And. Do I see myself reaching my goal and see myself reaching my plan? So uh, for some of you all who are listening to this and maybe you got you have good ideas and maybe you can think about these types of things. If, and if you do, hey, put them in the comment section so that I can read them and think about, you know, some of the suggestions that you all give. So it's discouraging when you're around the same type of food, the same type of fruit when you are smelling the same type of food that you used to be addicted to and apparently still I still am addicted to because it makes my mouth water when I see it and when I smell it when I go past so it's just uh, I feel like this is what I feel like I need I need this for me I need this for my family I feel like I need to be somewhere tropical I need to be somewhere where I'm walking out of the door of my house on my farm and I'm able to grab a banana off the tree. I'm able to go, you know, out the back door and if I'm eating a salad, grab an avocado off the tree. Man, if I want something sweet, grab a fig off the fig tree. You know, just a lot of things like that. What, what is gonna keep me sane and what is gonna keep me on my journey that I'm on? And not have like self-doubt sometimes, like am I really gonna be able to continue to do this? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm below 200 pounds now. I'm actually, actually probably about 196, somewhere in there right now. So I've never been here in my life that I can remember, maybe middle school, but I have never weighed this, this least amount that I can remember in my life. So of course I know that I have because I you know, grew up as a child and I wasn't always <laughs> that size. But yeah, so you know, just just a little discouraged uh, you know, about where I'm at. You know, I really want my YouTube channel to take off. Um, you know, sometimes I get a little discouraged, you know, and I know that the most high is watching over me. You don't want to grow too fast because you won't be able to handle it. And you know, really, um, really growing a lot now uh, in my channel. Uh, but at some point, I'm gonna have to decide what I'm gonna do. How am I gonna get to the place of where 
I want to get to with, within the next five years, within the next six years, how am I going to obtain that farm, you know, in that place where I'm trying to go? Uh, and I don't even know where I'm going to be going. So it's exciting in one sense, but, uh, but then on the other hand, it's a little discouraging because you, you don't have anything mapped out and you can't see that far in advance. I have a vision, but how do I get to that vision? And then, you know, I have, you know, with my family, you know, I, I want to be able to leave something for my, my children. I want to leave something for my, it's biblical. I want to leave something for my children's children. Um, and how do I get that? How do I meet that goal in this new way of thinking? You know, your mind opens up and that's one of the things for those of you all who are possibly thinking about it or you are just getting started into it. That's one of the things you're going to find. Your mindset is going to totally change because you're not having that. I, I, this is what I call it. You're not having that crap that you're normally eating clouding your mind. And that's what it does is it fogs your mind where you really can't even think clearly about things. Um, and that's why I did that video about depression. You know, what we eat clearly affects how we think. So now that I have this new way of thinking, now I have these ideas that I wanna do, but I'm not sure quite how to plan it out to get there. I'm not quite sure how to talk to, I mean, who to talk to, to get me to that place. Um, because, you know, I feel like this, this is my story and woe to me if I be quiet. I've learned something now that many of our people are struggling with and I've learned how to conquer it. At least I've learned how to deal with it and I've learned how to think properly now. I've learned how to eat correctly now and woe be to me if I keep this to myself. Now, there are some people who who will do this and, you know, hey, they're totally fine. You know, they're not outward people like I am. I'm a very outward person. Uh, and, you know, that may, that may not be their thing. But for me, I just want to, like, shout it from the rooftop. As y'all hear me say all the time, look, y'all, if I can do it, you can do it. That, that should really be my motto. If I can do it, you can do it. And I remember a state trooper told me that one time uh, when I was a kid and I said I wanted to be a, a state trooper. And I said, do you think I can do it? He says, buddy, if I can do it, you can do it. And that always stuck with me. That's always rang true with me. So for those of you who are looking for a life change, for those of you who are needing a life change, for those of you who feel like you're stuck and you're always gonna be where you're at, no, that's not true, that's a lie. You can change, you will change. You just have to believe in yourself and you have to have a principle about your life and about yourself and how you're gonna get there. So again, that's where I'm at right now. I just don't know who to talk to. Uh, I don't know how to plan things out. If you all have any ideas, any suggestions, uh, please, hey, let me know in the comment box. Uh, but I, I do, I, I have a goal I'm going to get somewhere where I can grow my own fruit. You know, I grow, we grow our own food now. You know, my wife has a, a YouTube channel um, as well, and she, she does gardening and stuff on it as well. So, you know, we already know how to grow food. Now we want to know how to grow fruit. So that's what I'm looking for. I just want my own land. I want to be able to grow and walk outside and walk through my my groves or my vine patches or you know whatever my vineyard i want to be able to walk through there you know and pray in the morning times and you know that's that's really just what i look for so again just wanted to let you all see what a fruitarian has going on in his head what he is thinking his thought process now because it's a real and true thing. Your life is going to change. Your thought process is going to change. And it's an exciting time for you. I'm excited about where I'm at. Just a little discouraged about how to get there because I just don't know how to do it. But for you all, I'm very excited um, for you all. I'm very excited that these moments are gonna come for you and these times are, are what's gonna propel you to do something different in your life. 
So, hey, I, I really do appreciate you all very much for just listening in to me as I dialogue with myself and as I do this. And again, like I said, hey, I'm, a, I'm at about 196 right now, y'all. You know, my goal is 190. My public goal is 190, but my self goal is really 180. So I'm, I'm getting there. And, uh, and I'll tell you this, I actually was 270 pounds when I began. Uh, but I had for documentation, I knew of a 260. So that's why I said 260. But So I, I've really come a long way. And thank you all for your support. Thank you for your encouragement, your comments that you give me all the time. And as you all can see, I don't know if you can really see, uh, there's my watermelons up top. There they are up there. So I bought five with me. I got, I knocked out one yesterday. I've got one and a half in my refrigerator getting chilled and I've got two more or three more up top. So loving my watermelon. Uh, this, I'm going to do an interview with the farmer. Also, uh, he's a sixth generation black farmer um, and where the area in which his family is from is a very historical area and I'm going to interview him and I'm going to try to go to the the old school, the old uh, black school that was there in that area, you know, that area had a post office and everything where actually um, African Americans actually live. So we're gonna do an interview with him and be able to talk to them. And uh, I'll let you all know when we're doing that and hopefully you all will watch that as well. So, all right, y'all have a good day. Hey, thank you for just listening in to me. I really do appreciate it. All right, bye-bye.